All right, hello and hi, you guys. I'm your host, Saran Almond, and this is What Would She Do? With food being in high demand and people starting to look to provide their own resources and their own solutions and growing their own gardens, which I think is absolutely awesome. I thought what better time than now to share my gardening experience. Okay, so my journey started at the farmer's market where I met an actual farmer and he gave me some really, really awesome tips. Him along with a few others gave me some really good information. I don't know why um, I didn't listen, I don't, I don't, I didn't follow. The instructions listen to what he told me to do and then watch what I actually did so here we are with John Travers of Appalachian Shed. All right, when you go to this container garden. I decided on a container garden. When you go to grow in a container, if you put the plant in the ground, the root would be 65 degrees, but when you put it in the container, it's gonna be 85 degrees. So they do what's called pot in pot. They put a bigger pot around the smaller pot that you grow in. I so should have did that. But remember, dirt is insulation, so the bigger the pot, the better. Okay, and then you can grow whatever you want if you're following those guidelines because you're keeping those roots cool and you'll get the production you're looking for. Because if it's too hot, it'll, the plant will shut down and you won't get the tomatoes or you won't get a big and as nice a plant as you would like. And then all you gotta do is fertilize and a little bit of plant management. I'll teach you how to prune stuff and what have you. Put it off. A garbage drill holes in the bottom. Make sure there's holes in the bottom. Okay. Okay, but you know, the bigger the better. On so many levels. Plant is looking for nitrogen. Okay. Nitrogen? Nitrogen, this stuff right here. Do you I have put, to you, buy that? You don't have to, but I highly recommend it. Okay. It's just like, use it like miracle Grow. You put a tablespoon in a gallon. Okay. And then when you're putting, when you're transplanting anything, it's looking for nitrogen. And that's straight, strong nitrogen. Don't put it in the dirt because it's too strong. Just use it water soluble. You know what I mean? A tablespoon to a gallon. And water your plants with that every every couple of weeks. I did that weekly. Mm. Just for about a month or two, and then and then just let let them go for the rest okay. of the year. Center. See what I mean? And cover dirt over about that much, and they'll do real well. Okay. I don't know how I got this wrong. You see what I mean? So Even plant got, that you, one sideways? Yeah, say this is the pot, right? Kind of put that in the ground like that, see? Didn't do that you know what either. I mean? Yes. And so the, the plant is in the back of the pot. It ain't no big deal. Well, how many to do? One plant, one tomato in a pot. Mmm, I had too many. Okay, do you like cayenne pepper? That's what that was. They're green, turn red, they're hot. They're I, could, I could take one. Okay, because you can put the, the cayenne and the jalapeno together. Together, okay. Okay, and then put the two, that's one pot, and then the two pimentos is another pot, and then the tomato is another pot. I did that. I want two. Okay, well, two separate pots. Oh, okay. We'll How big is it going to be? We'll give you a rosin trope. That's a red cherry. These okay. Both red cherries are good. Okay. That one looks a little skinny. It's fine. It'll is it? Good. This It'll one right here? It'll be good. All you got to well, do. not that one. The other one. They're fine. Okay. Ain't nothing wrong with them. Okay. Just plant that down in there like that. Okay. You know what I mean? And uh, now we'll put some Swiss chard and spinach and stuff. Yeah, do I need like one of each? I would do maybe two of each so you got enough, so you got some bounty. Gotcha, and that's you know, what I'm looking know, for, you know bounty. I mean? You gotta have, <laughs> and see how I'm doing this? This is how you harvest it. You just cut that stem off like that. Let me see. See what I'm doing it with my fingernail? But you can use a knife. Just don't take the leaf and leave the stem is what I'm saying. Gotcha. Cut it down to the bottom. Gotcha. So get a couple of them with a the tomato, and then get a couple of these with, with the other tomato. You see what I'm saying? So I can put those in with the tomato or yeah, no? Yeah, put these in with the tomato. Okay. Okay. And then the celery. Celery will do all right. Do I'll do one. one. If you make, yeah, there's a three pack. Just put one, put all three in a pot. Oh, celery. That never grew. Now the celery, when it grows up, just steal a stalk. Uh-huh. 
and use it as you cook. Okay. And then later on, when they get bigger, don't let them get tough. When they're really nice and tender looking and you want to leave them, <laughs> uh -huh. cut them all the way down to nothing and let it come back. Gotcha. When it comes to the dirt, find a place where there's a gully and the leaves blew in the gully. Uh -huh. and there's that black dirt. Uh -huh. let, take that stuff and put that on the bottom of the pots, as much of that as you can get. And then take that mushroom compost that you buy at Lowe's and put that on the top so it don't cost as much money. Okay. See what I'm saying? And make sure there's holes in the bottom of the container so it drains. I forgot the holes. How many and how big? Oh, half inch holes, five or ten. Okay. Just something so that it drains. If you can drown the plant, you know what I mean? You can drown the roots. If they sit in water, that plant will drown. Okay. If it drains, everything will grow real good. So this is me leaving with my seedlings. Alright, so what is everything? I got this. I'm not really knowing if I would need to use it, but I'm glad that I did. Because I'm new to this. I don't garden, mostly because um, I don't like bugs, but as a vegan, um, I did want to try to start growing my own vegetables. So here I have some nitrogen that I'm gonna add to the water. Um, I got some bags, some soil garden bags, some fabric um, pots from uh, Amazon. Oh man, I thought I got seven, I only have five. Okay, there's rules to this, like there's certain vegetables that are better potted with others. Um, so I'm going to do what I remember. So this is my little water thing. Let me get my gloves on. I feel like I need like bug spray or, or something to be be out here. Because um, there's bugs out here. Okay. If you can't tell, purple is my favorite color. So I got some bamboo, some zip ties, some peat moss, and some, some dirt. So the first thing that I'm going to do, oh, is put the, the dirt in here. Here's my little thingy. Oh, this, uh-uh. I'm going to pour it in there. I want to get on the dirt, but I'm scared, so there's a bug. Oh, wait, let me get bug spray. I'll be back. I had to get my bug spray. Okay, so let me get back to adding my dirt to each of these pots. You know what? I don't really remember what these vegetables are. I think I can tell by looking at the leaves which one is the Swiss chard. All right. So I was told to put this in, like put some scoops in where I'm going to put the, the plants. So. I'm going to this mm, this kind of looks like mulch. I'm gonna do three. Where I'm gonna plant at. Oh, okay, that works. And then I'm gonna dig a hole for the other one. And oh, I guess that will Makes sense if I took it out of this thing. So, I got that in there. 
what I do know is that these three are cucumbers. So I am going to put all of those in the same one. Put my scoops of peat moss in there. Now I was talking to somebody and he was telling me about dirt temperature and all this fancy stuff and I don't think this is the right kind of hit away out here, but um this is I wanna say oh I wanna I wanna say this is my celery. Yeah, this is my celery. I didn't get to the cucumbers yet. I met a a farmer at the farmer's market. I probably should have looked at his footage again. So now you get to see what I'm doing. I am digging holes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Poor babies. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Oh. I have tele, I have lemon cuke, telegraph cuke, and a palm set cuke. So these are my cucumbers. All right, we're gonna go through the same exact routine. All right, so this is cucumbers, celery, Swiss chard, spinach. I don't know, maybe I have green onions. Now you know, ain't nobody sold you no green onions. Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't think I have enough bags. I really thought that I had um, seven Amazon. Let me not blame them. It's probably my fault. Again, don't, I mean, when you see what I harvest, if you want to do what I do, then do it. But I'm not recommending that right now, okay? I'm not going to put anything else in with this, but somebody got to get a roommate because I have way more of these than I have bags and this stuff has to go in here today, okay? And this stuff, I mean, I guess it's not that expensive, but you don't want to waste it. And I'm wasting <laughs> I don't know what is in it, but it looks like a worm. What is this? Oh my gosh. I think it's a worm. Mm -mm. I need to be in a position where I can move quickly if I need to. Yeah, all of these bugs. This is why, okay, I'm not. That's how I'm scared. Like, let me hurry up. All of them going together. They just for them in here because I don't know. Like this. Mm -mm. I knew it was a worm because. Okay. Oh, please. Oh, I got this thing and I didn't even use it. Let me use it. I don't know what it's for. Oh, maybe to spread the dirt. So I was told to add a tablespoon of nitrogen to one gallon of water. And that is how I'm gonna water my plants. So I'm just gonna pour this in here. Oh, here we go. There we go. I really wanna do right by these plants. 
Mostly because I want to eat them. This is what it looks like. Pouring. Making sure we saturate the dirt. Pouring. Uh-oh. Saturating the dirt. I think I'm gonna set up shop right here. I put these over here so that I can put my my chicken. What is that? Chicken fence? Chicken wire? Okay, so this is poultry netting. All right, this looks like it's gonna take me a minute to figure how to even get this started. So, let me figure that out and I'll be back. So what it is, is you gotta find the wire that's wrapped around to hold it together, okay? And then unravel the wire. And actually, if you pay attention, it's not even the same exact silver as the chicken netting. It's like a little lighter. I mean, I see it now. I feel like if I wrap one whole um, pot and then do that on the other side, I should be okay. Y'all don't laugh, I'm gonna figure this out. And I tried to get help because, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing, but I will never learn if I never try. So I'm just gonna unravel as I go. I'm gonna leave the chicken thingy out here leaning. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, look at what I did. But I have it anchored onto that. I'm gonna still use that as an anchor. Because, and I don't really know how to keep it from doing what it's doing. All right. As y'all can see, it is getting dark. And I have done all that I know how to do. And I don't even know if I did it right. So, yeah, it's a wrap, y'all. <laughs> Okay, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can catch up on part two. What happened? What did I grow? So before we go, yesterday was my three year vegan anniversary. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't checked out my why did I go vegan video, you can check it out right now. Click the link above. Please sure to subscribe so you can catch part two to see exactly uh, how my garden grew. All right, thank you guys for tuning in. You guys stay safe and stay healthy. Until next time, I'm Saran Almond and this is What Would She Do? Be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can remain in the know.